This is Jess from JessHuff.com. In this video, I'll show you how to crochet the flames for my free amigurumi pattern, Dante the Dragon. I've included a link to the pattern in the video description. First, we'll crochet the top layer. With orange yarn, create a slip knot on your hook, leaving it an 8 inch yarn tail. Chain 8. This is our working loop. This is the first chain from the hook, and this is the second chain. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. In the last chain, we'll make three flame tendrils. Single crochet in the last chain of this original chain base. Chain 4. Slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Then single crochet in the last two chains. To start tendril 2, single crochet in the last chain of the original chain base. Chain 6. Slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Single crochet in the last three chains. To start tendril 3, single crochet in the last chain of the original chain base. Chain 5. Slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. Slip stitch in the next chain. Then single crochet in the last two chains. Single crochet one more time in the last chain of the original chain base to secure the third tendril. On the other side of the original chain base, single crochet in the next six chains. Now we're going to fasten off, leaving a six inch tail.
Then we're going to secure this with a knot and weave both yarn tails into the work. I don't have a particular method for this. I kind of just weave it in randomly. This is what the first flame looks like when it's all complete. Now we'll crochet the bottom layer. With red yarn, create a slip knot on your hook, leaving an 8 inch yarn tail. Chain 9. Double crochet in the third chain from your hook. Then double crochet in the next six chains. In the last chain, we'll make three flame tendrils. To start the first tendril, half double crochet in the last chain of the original chain base. Chain 6. Slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. Slip stitch in the next chain. Single crochet in the next two chains. Half double crochet in the last chain. To start tendril two, single crochet in the last chain of the original chain base. Chain eight. Slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. Slip stitch in the next two chains. Single crochet in the next two chains. Half double crochet in the last two chains. To start tendril 3, single crochet in the last chain of the original chain base. Chain 7. Slip stitch in the second chain from your hook.
slip stitch in the next two chains. Single crochet in the three remaining chains. Half double crochet in the last chain of the original chain base. On the other side of the original chain base, double crochet in the final seven chains. Without fastening off, we will crochet the orange and red layers together across the top flat edge. Chain one, do not turn. Through the red layer only, single crochet. Through the orange and red layers, single crochet two. Then through the red layer only, do a final single crochet. Then fasten off, leaving a six inch tail. Thread that tail through a yarn needle. and secure with a knot. That was bothering me. I'm sure it was bothering you. Then I'm going to weave these tails into the work. Your flames are now complete. If you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified about my future crochet tutorials. Thanks for watching!